Does your next experiment involve TNF-alpha? This video is for scientists who want to run Western blot, IHC, flow or other immunoassays against TNF-alpha. We will cover some basic facts, protein expression, and TNF-alpha's expected behavior in Western blot. All information in this video is based on public information and no proprietary experimental evidence was used. Topic 1. Quick facts about TNF-alpha. Tumor necrosis factor alpha, or TNF-alpha, is a multifunctional pro-inflammatory cytokine that plays a central role in inflammation, immune system development, apoptosis, and lipid metabolism. Under certain conditions, TNF-alpha can stimulate cell proliferation or induce the lysis of neighboring tumor cells and virus-infected cells. The precursor of TNF-alpha is 233 amino acids long and runs about 26 kilodaltons on western blot while the mature form is 157 amino acids long and runs about 17 kilodaltons on western blot. Topic 2. Where is TNF-alpha expressed? High RNA expression levels of TNF-alpha have been found in the spleen, lungs, small intestine, and lymphoid tissues, with the highest levels detected in bone marrow. They are also expressed at lower levels in the brain, liver, gallbladder, kidney, adipose tissues, skin, lymph node, and heart muscle. You can find more information on proteinatlas.org to check out which cell lines express TNF-alpha and which ones don't. This information will come in handy when designing positive and negative controls for Western blot and immunohistochemistry. Topic 3. TNF-alpha in Western blotting. Antibody specificity can make or break an experiment. After looking through Western blot images from publications and antibody companies, we can see that typically two bands can be expected in a TNF-alpha Western blot, the proform TNF-alpha at around 26 kilodaltons and the mature TNF-alpha at around 17 kilodaltons. Check out the PMC link for more images, which is also provided in the description box. Topic 4. Some interesting facts about TNF-alpha. TNF-alpha was discovered together with TNF-beta in 1985 as they share 50% amino acid sequence homology and are bound to the same receptor. The potential of TNF-alpha as a pro-inflammatory inducible cytokine plays an important role in various biological processes, which has led to recent approval and expanding market of TNF-alpha in the treatment of a variety of diseases. For example, Taswinerman is the recombinant TNF-alpha for the treatment of certain cancers. Thank you for watching, and check out the links and references in the description box below. Let us know in the comments which biomarker you would like us to discuss next. Subscribe to stay tuned for more biomarker videos.